Look at that, beautiful. Really happy with how everything turned out. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Beacon mic stand. I did receive the sample directly from Beacon, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a peek at the retail box and packaging. We have a nice graphic of the stand. And we got our Beacon mic stand logo and branding on both sides. You'll see it on this side. And then lastly, on this side, we have some extra product information here. This does come in two colors. You can get it in black or white to match your Beacon mic. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, you'll see our instruction guide and manual, followed by all the pieces of our mic stand. What I wanna look at here is one of the arms. You'll see we have the Beacon logo and branding on it. And on the very bottom, we have this split cable management channel underneath, hidden out of the way. That's really nice, like seeing that there. Same can be said for the second piece of the mic stand here with our second arm. We got that same channel underneath to be able to route our cables very easily. Got a high quality clamp here. They have nice padding built into it as well too to protect your desk. So you have the option to use this clamp to mount it or you can use a grommet style mount if you have a hole already available on your desk or if you wanna drill one yourself. You'll see our mic mount at the very end right here, how we're able to rotate that, right, and adjust it up or down as we see fit. And they also give us a hardware kit here with all the tools that we need. We have different threaded adapters as well too, depending on the microphone that we're gonna be attaching to this stand. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. So for our desk setup, we're gonna be doing the clamp mounting option. Again, you have clamp mount or grommet mounting depending on your setup. Just follow the instructions to make sure you configure the base exactly how you want it. So we'll be using the clamp and the first thing we have to do is wind it all the way down here so we have enough room to be able to line this up with the three threaded holes there that match right there. Go back through the other side take our three included screws and fasten that in place. All right, so there you go. You'll see we got the first piece attached and installed right there. It's solid, it's not going anywhere. Now, next up, we have to take the piece you see right here. This is gonna be a nice protective pad for our desk and surface when we clamp it down. So we're gonna take the 3M adhesive, we're gonna peel that portion back. You're gonna line that one up right here over the hole and just press it in place like so, and then you'll peel off this top portion. Peeled, lined up, pressed in place, and peel the top. Now we're ready to clamp it to our desk. So I have it clamped right here. It's firmly fastened in place. Really easy to tighten that down with the handle that's provided and built in. Now we gotta work on assembling the rest of the arm. Next, we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna drop it right in place, and then we're gonna use the flathead side of the included tool to come over to it and just gently tighten it in place with that little set screw and now it's not gonna be able to pull off of the clamp. Next up, we're gonna take the first piece of our mic arm here and install that. This is gonna be the piece that does not have Beacon's logo and branding on it. So just line it up and just gently press it in place and same thing, we have a set screw on this as well that we can use that same flat end and tighten down. And now we're gonna take that final piece right here with the beacon branding on it, drop it in place. And just like the other one, we have a set screw right there that we can tighten down. So everything's fastened in place right there. It's steady and stable. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now it's time to add our adapter up at the top. You're gonna wanna loosen it until you can get both pieces out. We're gonna take this, line it up on this side, just like so. And then we'll bring this guy back in and we can tighten back down in place. So there we go. Now we have it on and then we can just get it into the position that we want. And we're ready now to run our cable so then we can install our mic. All right, so we have our cable run and we have our beacon mic installed right here. I don't know why I keep trying to talk in it. We're not using the mic actively right now, but take a look at that. So for the cable, right, we just ran our USB cable from the top 
to the bottom. You just tuck it up and out of the way, and it's pretty easy to pull some extra slack if you need anything. Or again, if you wanna tuck it away if you have too much slack. And then our beacon mic fits perfectly on this. We use two of the included adapters, and then with this mic, you can really position it exactly how you want it. It supports it just fine under its own weight, no issues there. Again, we have a lot of flexibility in how we wanna move and rotate this with the end piece that's included from them, as well as just the beacon mic overall. Black color matches perfectly as you're seeing right here, no discrepancy between the colors or anything else along those lines, but very versatile, easy to configure, and you can reposition as you see fit. But look at that, pretty sweet, right? Really happy with that. Again, I wanna talk into it like it's working, but really pleased with how this came together. Very simple installation from start to finish. Love that the colors match as you would expect. You can actually store that pretty easily out of the way too if you want and quickly bring it back into frame if you're streaming, podcasting, creating content, things along those lines. All right, so you don't think I was gonna leave you hanging, did you? Well, here it is all set up and ready to go in its final spot, really happy with this. And you'll see with our setup, able to come right under the monitor there. Don't forget if you wanted to, you should be able to take this off if you don't need that extra height. But for us, that's perfect here. And then if you need to adjust the tension right there, you can use the included tool, the Allen wrench, to adjust that. So you can pivot that up or down, change the height. But look at that, beautiful. Really happy with how everything turned out. Looks great, works great exactly how we want it. And you'll see in the preview right here that the microphone's not going to show up at all perfectly right underneath for us. Not going to be in frame, but allow us to pick up some fantastic audio with this setup and mount. 